Hi guys, it's Michelle. I'm here to do another very quick quick review with you. If you're new to my channel, then welcome and hello. I'm Michelle. If you've been here before, thank you so much for being so brave and coming back again to listen to more of my chat. So the wig that I want to show you guys today is by... Aesthetica Designs. It is part of their High Society Monofilament Top Collection. This wig is called, I'm actually so excited, Monroe. Now, why am I excited? Because I love it and I've not really been able to wear it properly because I wanted to review it straight from box to show you guys before I start putting a brush through it. So I have tried it on, I've taken a couple of photos but I have not at this time even brushed it because I've wanted to keep it looking brand spanking new. So I'm going to do that today. The shade that I have is our 302826 which is a really stunningly beautiful ginger ginger shades. I just adore it. So this would be the shades that we have here. Now I'm going to show you the cap first before I put it on and then we are going to try it on, talk lens, all that jazz. So we have a gorgeous lace front with full monofilament top on Monroe here and you will get to see how that looks when I put it on. At the crown here we've got a very small, small area of kind of permatease but it's nothing major don't freak out and think eh, it's gonna be poofy because it's not it's really not the sides and back we have some open wafting to allow air circulation throughout the cap the ear tabs are very much kind of standard here um, they are here <laughs> at the ears I forgot what I was going to say and look at metal stays inside to allow you to mold it and conform it to the shape of your head and um, at the neck but we have the kind of hook and clip fastening to tighten that up or you can loosen that off. Now what you may notice with Monroe if I don't happen to point it out is the lace front on this actually runs from ear tab to ear tab. It is a full extended lace front which is really quite amazing because anywhere you pull it back from right round the whole front perimeter it's going to look so natural, so natural. So I'm going to put it on and show you as it comes straight from box what I am going to do because my head's a wee bit smaller than you probably expect. I am going to tighten this up ever so slightly because I just got a wee head. Now let's pop this wee beauty on and yeah. I have a couple of friends, Michelle and Leanne, who also have this in the exact same shade and it's like so stunning. It is beautiful. Now this is Monroe as she comes from box. I'm going to turn right round and then we're going to talk some lengths and then I'm going to brush it and we're going to play and we're going to have fun. Okay, so from the front and next will be the left. And then to show you the back. The right and back to the front again. So this is Monroe, she's really beautiful um, as you guys can see and you can change that parting up now lace front wise, let's just show you, let's show you this. Now this lace front is running as we said from the ear right round, right right round, right round to here so gorgeous. Do you know what I love with this as well before I even talk about it? What Aesthetica seem to do and they do it on the Aspen as well and with quite a few of the wigs that I've seen so far. See the very front type layers even in a curly wig they're slightly straighter but they kind of almost swoop backwards and they're just stunning. I love that. Rich that's great and I'm loving that design. Good job. Okay so the front type bangs fringe type layer is 10.25 inches here, like that. Okay, now the crown is 11.75 inches of length here. Um, the sides are about 9.5 inches and the nape is 9.75 inches. I'm going to turn and show you that. Obviously it's curly so it might not look as long as what you would expect. But it's curled up. When the hair's curled obviously it's going to look shorter. So this is Monroe. This is one of my favourites at the moment. It's so beautiful and it does actually look very different on everyone that wears it. Now, some people can be quite frightened to play with curly wigs, to brush them and they think, oh I'm scared I'll break it. You're not going to break it. Well, you could break it but you're not going to break it just by brushing it. Now the good thing about this being synthetic, this is kind of, these curls are baked into your hair. This is the way that they kind of come and when you wash it, no matter what you've brushed or whatever, if you've just been brushing your hair, then it's going to go back to these kind of curls again. Now, this is them as they are. 
Obviously you can see they're quite structured still at the moment. If you do brush your hair and decide, oh no I liked it better how it was with the curls a bit more structured and the likes, that's really totally fine. You can just use a bit of water spray. I would recommend using a protective spray anyway, on especially on your curly wigs. Um, but you don't have to, you can spray it with the water um, just to get those kind of curls back. Um, if you have given it a wee brush out and think I want it to be a wee bit more curly again, just use a wee bit of water in a pump spray bottle and yeah, and then just give it a wee scrunch. Now, this is now Monroe as well and as you can see, exact same as I had on a minute ago, but I've given it a wee bit of a brush just to soften those curls ever so slightly. Now, some people like it more soft and brushed like this. Other people, like others of you out there, are going to prefer it, just how it came originally. And, you know, that's totally fine. I kind of am very much... I change my mind constantly in regard to what I like, but this is what's amazing. This is going to stay in this shape, and when I wash it, it's going to go back to those original kind of stronger curls. You know, I'm going to, I do brush my curly wigs. People always worry about brushing them. Are they going to lose the curls? Are they going to ruin their hair with synthetic wigs? They're going to go back to that. Now, what you can do is have it more swoop out at the bottom if you like. You just play around with it and find what kind of suits you. At the moment mine's in a kind of bit of a centre type parting. Um, often I am going to go slightly left, sometimes I go right. I'm just awkward and I like to change everything all the time. What you may notice with this shade and with a few of the Aesthetica shades and the blondes as well, um, if there are different highlights throughout. I've noticed that a lot of the very front of the hairline will have the lighter shades which is really beautiful. That's very natural because on bio hair generally the sun will kiss the front of your hair and those front sections can be a bit lighter. I really love that on a wig actually and it's just so incredibly beautiful. This is Monroe from Aesthetica. It is one that I would highly recommend. The only issue that I have um, at the moment with Aesthetica, and the only thing I would say to you guys um, if you've not had an Aesthetica wig before is they're so amazing and you will fall in love and the problem with them is people know that they're so amazing and they tend to fly off the shelves so quickly. So sometimes you can be in a bit of a wait when things can be on a back order but that just kind of speaks to the quality and the fact that people are buying frequently because they love them. They love the styles, they know the quality is good and yeah that's not a bad complaint to be having. Um, so this is Monroe from Aesthetica. This shade is our 302826. It's one of my favourite shades. I am a ginger at heart. I really am. I do love my ginger hair. Um, I do love all shades but I especially, especially have a wee bit of a soft spot for ginger. It's probably most like my natural hair colour to be fair which I wanted to hide forever when I was younger. <laughs> now I don't have it anymore I'm like yeah let's get some ginger on the go. <laughs> so I'm going to actually grab a quick bottle and give this a wee bit of a spritz and show you what I mean about you can just give it a wee scrunch back up. What I'm actually going to use just now um, HD Smooth Detangler by John Renault, which I use on all of my synthetic wigs actually. Um, I wouldn't be layering hundreds and millions and thousands of this onto my wig. Um, like if I wanted to scrunch further, I don't want to have product build up so I would then just go to spray in some water. I have just a plain pump bottle of water as well. Now, but this is just giving a wee bit of protection and coating onto those hair fibres just now. So you can see what I've done here just with a bit of moisture spraying back onto this hair compared to this side which is still very very soft that I've brushed out but I'm just going to give this side a wee, a wee scoosh or a big scoosh I'm spraying it from a bit of a distance and it's not all hitting the hair actually, I've just got a wad of it in my mouth. Doesn't taste the best, I wouldn't recommend like spraying it right into your mouth or into your eyeballs either. But um, yeah. So, it's up to you what you use on your hair. 
I use this, I feel that it does protect my synthetic wigs and keep them really healthy and keep them well for longer, especially with curls or with longer wigs. Um, but there we go. And if I decided I want it to be smoother, I will wait until it dries and then I can give it a wee brush back out again. But this is Mano from Aesthetica. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Rich, you've done an amazing job. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I just love her so, so very much. Um, you're a wee star, Rich, for all these great creations. Guys, if this is a wig that you're considering, I very much recommend it. And it doesn't matter whether you're a bit of a lefty with your partings, a righty, centre, zigzag, like to change it up. This is the benefit of having the full monofilament top. I love a wee full monofilament top. I do love the lace hairline on this. It might not be, oops, sugar, it'd be good if I didn't fold my lace under. That's a good way to damage your wigs. Um, yeah, basically, the lace fronts Okay, the lace fronts on the Aesthetica wigs are really gorgeous. It might be harder to kind of see with this having the much lighter type tones and shades at the very front. But um, yeah, the Aesthetica lace front hairlines are amazing. This is your full monofilament top. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It's very easy, I would say, for maintenance, this kind of length of wig. You have some length, but it's not too long. It's not going to get dead matted. It's lovely and it's elegant. The curls are going to hold as well. So whereby your friends might do a wee bit of whoo, loose curls on their bio hair and head out the door, you can be like, mine are going to last all day. Whether it's rainy, whether it's sunny, it doesn't matter. Like my hair will just wait because it will and it's really beautiful. It kind of gives you the look of having had your hair done, but almost like, no, I just woke up like this. Effortless, elegant, chic, beautiful, kind of retro in some ways and yet modern at the same time, which is a total contradiction within itself but hey that's what it is it's awesome so thanks guys for tuning in thank you for watching another wig review with me and i will be back soon to review more wigs to do more videos with you guys anything that you want to ask feel free to jot it down in the comments down below you can obviously buy this here at memowigs.com what i am going to do is as always i will pop a 10 percent discount code down below with a link to the product directly from my site. Um, sometimes these shades can be in back order, different shades can be in back order with Aesthetica, a lot of products can be in back order. Personally for me, you know, if you're saying is it worth the wait, then yes I would say it is worth the wait, certainly for this wig probably for most of their wigs they're on back order for a reason because people have them people love them and people want to repurchase and rebuy so i do feel it's worth waiting for one of these if they are currently out of stock when you look to order but um you know that's really up to yourself whether you're happy to do that or not one thing i would say is i really don't think you'll be disappointed if you go for one of the aesthetica wigs this is really beautiful i've got more aesthetica reviews coming up very soon i've been trying to slowly buy in product um for the purposes of doing a review to show you guys out there what is available now i'm buying these wigs with my own money i'm paying for them with my own money because i want to be able to show you what's out there so everything that i'm saying in these videos is totally my own opinion it's not sponsored i've not been asked to say anything aesthetic are probably going to be like oh my goodness michelle what are you up to <laughs> but um yeah everything's my own opinion and i kind of like that i like having my channel and that i can say whatever i want and i will always be honest you know in regards to cap construction in regard to style that's all personal preference so if you don't like a style of wig you're not going to like it no matter who makes it or whatever what I can tell you is this is very well made I'm happy with this cap construction I love this cap construction actually I love the lace front I love the monofilament patching I love the hair distribution throughout the knotting techniques are very amazing very secure the color shades are phenomenal and everything that I've seen so far I've not seen all the shades I can't speak to all of them but I have seen a good few at this juncture and I do love them all so guys I'm going to really go this time because I talk far too much I will see you all again very soon for some more wig reviews so keep sparkling be real beautiful I'll see you all very soon. Bye! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I nearly fell over.